Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Now today's video is going to be this 10 minute easy, quick makeup look. So this is the makeup that I would wear to college. I did do a everyday makeup routine a few months ago but it has kind of changed since then. Um, this may be quite full coverage, quite a lot of makeup for some people but for me personally this is kind of quite simple, quick and easy so if you don't like wearing this much makeup on a day to day basis that's absolutely fine but you could always change up the foundation for a BB cream and just do whatever you're comfortable with really so you are watching this on the 25th now the 25th is actually the closing date for my 1k giveaway so if you're watching this video now and you haven't entered my giveaway it will be the first link in the description box so make sure you go and check it out because you will have till midnight tonight to go and enter and then the giveaway will close because obviously I need a few days to film the video that has the giveaway winner in it. So the giveaway winner will be announced on Thursday so make sure you keep an eye out for that. It will be in my, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to call it yet but it's going to be like an end of April chit chat and favourites video so make sure you keep an eye out for that, that is going up in three days time. I'm so excited to announce the winner for the giveaway, I absolutely love the giveaway and so many of you entered so far and I'm so so appreciative for all of your support as always. So if you'd like to see how I got this quick and easy 10 minute makeup then just keep watching. So starting off with primer, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Base Primer. This is a really good primer because it's slightly pore filling, so it does keep you matte throughout the whole day. For foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Sculpt Contouring Base in the shade Claire Light 01. I'm mixing in a few of the darkening drops by The Body Shop just to make it match to my neck colour a bit more and then pressing this in with my damp beauty blender. Beauty blenders aren't the quickest way to apply foundation but I do feel like you get the most flawless base um, when using a beauty blender for me anyway. Now I'm just using a little bit of concealer on the blemishes that I may have and also using a lighter concealer underneath the eyes to brighten up the area. I'm taking it on my eyelids as this is going to be kind of my primer for my eyes. I'm not going to go in with much eyeshadow so it just kind of brightens up the whole area if you apply it to the eyelids as well as just underneath the eyes. Now I'm just setting everything in place with the NYX HD powder just so that it prevents any creasing underneath the eyes and prevents my makeup from budging throughout the day. So next on to brows I'm using my Barry and Shape and Define Eyebrow Kit. I use this brow kit every single day, I find it's the quickest way to do my eyebrows and I just get the nicest kind of look to them when I use this palette so use whatever really works best for you. It's kind of really your personal preference as to what brow products you like to use. You may not like to use any, that's perfectly fine. Um, if I don't use any brow products I do still like to run a clear um, mascara through them just to set them in place so they don't budge throughout the day. So now I'm just setting my brows in place with the Rimmel brow this way, just so that they do not move throughout the day. Now moving on to eyes, I'm just running a bit of the same bronzer that I use on my face through the crease, just to give a little bit of definition and a little pop of colour to the eye. This literally takes a few seconds and I do think it does make a big difference to how they look. I also like to run it on my bottom lash line but this is completely up to you, you don't have to do this if you don't like how it looks. Now for mascara I'm using the Maybelline Push Up Drama Mascara. I didn't used to like this mascara but it has grown on me since it has dried out a little bit. I found when it was brand new the actual product itself was quite wet and so it transferred onto different parts of your eyes a lot but now that mine's dried out I do prefer it a lot more now. Also just applying a few coats to the bottom lashes. Moving back onto the base, I'm using this MUA bronzer in the shade 1 and just applying this on my cheeks, my forehead, down my jawline and down the sides of my nose just to add some colour back into my face. I'm using this Makeup Revolution eyeshadow in the shade Mono Eyeshadow Base and this is such a gorgeous shade as a highlight, I really like applying it with 
a stippling brush because I feel like that's how it looks most blended but also how you get the most pigment out of the eyeshadow. So I'm just applying that on my cheekbones, on my nose, on my cupid's bow and yes. I'm also applying a tiny bit on the inner corner just to give a nice glow so that you look nice and wide awake. <laughs> I love how this looks as a highlighter. So you could just wear a lip balm, but I am gonna wear a lipstick today and I'm gonna be wearing the MAC lipstick in the shade Faux. I absolutely love this lipstick as an everyday shade. It's quite similar to Brave by MAC, but Brave is slightly more pink. This is kind of a dulled down version of Brave. So this is the finished look. I told you guys it would be super quick and easy so great for school or college. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, comment any other videos you'd like me to do in the future, I love hearing your guys like video requests because it, I know then that I'm putting out videos that people want to see. The winner for the collab away is Shona Forsey, I think that's how you pronounce your name. Um, Congratulations to you, your videos, your content, everything about your channel is amazing. I will leave her channel linked down below so that anyone that wants to go and check her out can easily get to her channel. Um, you'll be collabing with us in future so make sure everyone else keeps an eye out for those videos because they will be soon. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!